hi welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so in this video i'm going to talk to you about something that i received a few days ago it's a i received my first fixed penalty notice that's right that's right i never received a penalty before in my life so this was like a you know a surprise a gift from tfl not from god but from tfl um yes yeah, so what does it say details of offense the circumstances alleged are that on monday 15th february 2021 at uh, authorized officer of transport for london witness you were in contravention of the regulations as you did contravene in the rigor in the requirement to wear a face covering on public transport contrary to section 61 whereby a person who contravenes the requirement regulations three commits offense yeah i don't understand can you write in English? Yeah, so for example, whoever wrote this was lazy. Uh, like, do you think the public will understand what you write? Like, honestly. But anyways, I've got £200 penalty. And if I pay within 14 days, I can pay £100. Yay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's going to receive a gift from me. Gift from me. Gift from me. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah. So I actually made a complaint against the officer, to be honest. I went to TFL and I wrote, made a complaint against the officer because the thing is here, he didn't ask me if I was exempt. He didn't ask me um, if I had a worker status, you know, like for example, why am I on the bus? I'm actually going to work. I'm not just like roaming on the bus for fun. I'm actually going to work. And on that day, yeah, I woke up late here and I was so tired. I was half dead here. And yet... You know, I'm, yeah, I did manage to get on the bus on time, yeah, but I was just thinking to myself, was this a nightmare or was it just a dream? I was like completely half dead. So when this person, big person, came to front of me, I was like, what? And I'm like, oh crap, I'm not wearing my mask yet. And then I'm like, well, actually, I'm exempt from wearing a mask. So I said to him, like, yeah, I'm not wearing a mask because I'm, it causes a lot of distress. And legally, that's a valid reason, by the way. Um, legally, it's a valid reason. So, anyways, he got told me to get off the bus he took my details and yes i was kicking myself why didn't i lie why didn't i just give a wrong name wrong address wrong date of birth but no i have to be the honest good person i have to basically tell the truth you know it's for integrity my own integrity so i did that and and then i said well i'm late for work now so are you gonna pay for my expenses to get onto another bus technically they actually let me go onto another bus and then obviously i had to get off that bus and then get another bus so the journey became a like a long long journey when I went to work here, yeah, I told my supervisor, and then I was, you know, kind of like consumed by that event the whole day. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have to fight for this because technically uh, I felt that this was injustice. You know, yes, I know wearing a mask protects the public, whatever, but to be honest, you have do does it really protect us wearing masks for long term it actually causes health effects. So technically, I'm very health conscious, so why am I gonna kill myself for? for oh i'm gonna kill myself for you know i'm a natural rebel but i'm also trying to do the right thing and i was trying to you know follow my own health um which i follow my own health so obviously i consider myself exempt from wearing a mask so you know i was wearing a mask but i wasn't on the bus just for fun you know just to you know go and meet somebody i was on the bus to go to work so anyways um this officer obviously was not very smart but you know what i'm not gonna be angry at him because it's not his fault he was just he's a slave to the government anyway so he's just a, you know a officer working for tfl now tfl i don't like you but i forgive you because to be honest i cannot contain or consume so much hatred in my body that's not good for my health yeah so anyways um if you ever get this yeah just know you've got two ways of paying this you can pay by debit or credit card or you can do post to payment now i'm going to do post to payment because i do not want to give my financial details when we write a letter to him to come tell him that i paid i'm paying you but i'm not guilty i'm paying because i, can, I cannot be bothered i cannot be bothered to wait till june or july you know end of uh, end of lockdown and, and you know when everything goes back to normal technically i don't think anything will go back to normal but i can't wait a couple of months just to fight for this i would by then i would be so bored and i forgot about this anyways it's only 100 quid you know it's not such a big deal right i mean for me for me i could have spent it on like i don't know i think that's my tummy but um for me i could spend it on like clothes 
Oh, actually, I could give in to my friends who are struggling now. But instead, you know, instead, TFL wants it. So let's give it to TFL. TFL, you're going to receive a gift. Be happy, okay? Um. So anyways, I'm going to be writing letter as well. I'm going to put the letter inside the postal payment as well to put it together and send it off. So I'll do that tomorrow. Um, That's the plan. The reason I'm doing this is because um I'm doing the option of, like, paying them. Not because I'm guilty, but because... um. Because I, I, my birth is coming up soon and I have to think about my birth. I, th I have to think about my, also I'm taking a test and so I've got to think about my test and I've got to think about my learning and I'm looking for another job because technically you don't know what's going to happen in your job, right? So, so there's so many things, you know, that's kind of consuming right now, right now and I'm like thinking, do I really need this? But I was speaking, I spoke to one of my friends yesterday and he told me that like, Actually, he lost his dad, in, you know, during um, a few months ago because of COVID, and uh, and he's also unwell. And it just made me kind of think, wow, like some people else have it harder than me. So obviously, like um, when you know, listening to my friend, I just realized that okay, what I'm going through technically is for, it's nothing. I'm sure a lot of people rather take my place than you know just to pay their stupid fine, than have like their loved ones die, and you know. So yeah, so that's the plan. So I just thought I'd just let you know, just in case um, you guys also experience this. But um, I would recommend that, you know, um, I was speaking to my grand and she said that, why didn't you say sorry? Why didn't you beg, you know, beg them, please, uh, officer, I will pop the mask on. Oh, please don't find me. I'm like, uh, I'm like, I was half dead. I had no time to like, you know, flirt with this guy. I mean, I don't want to... I know you can use, you know, as girls, we can use our feminine charm to kind of like get out of trouble. But I'm like, you know what? You feel the world wants equality. I'm like, you know, treat me like, treat me like a dude if you want to. I don't care. I don't care. I'm really very comfortable in my body. So like, it's, um, yeah. So anyways, um, that's it. So anyways, uh, yeah. So, oh, also now I think, I just realised that, okay, so um, a few days ago, I was thinking to myself, actually, this was going to happen. Somehow, I just had a feeling that something strange like this would happen, yeah. And you know what, sometimes when things like, like this happen, yeah, we think, oh, wow, it's bad, we have to pay fine, someone's taking with money. But in fact, sometimes the world, the universe conspires, conspires to make that happen so that they, it's like, give money away in order to attract more money into your life so i see it like this i see the silver lining i'm gonna give tfl some money and i'm gonna get attract more money into my life that's how i see it so because i do be of a lot of attraction you know i kind of know that like things happens for a reason so obviously this happened for a reason and um so yeah it's the universe's way of like making something better come into my life i mean that's the way i'm gonna see it as um but it's such a shame because i could have given it to my friends who are struggling you know people who actually don't have a job and i could like you know i would be so happy to give them donate the money to them but not to the tfl because i don't care about the tfl i just don't but you know but like i said it's not their fault and i'm not going to be angry at them because um you know it is what it is and i have to take accountability for it because well, what's the point? You know, I've got far more important things to do in my life than worry about this. But you know what? Yeah, I just, I just cannot wait to like to wait several months just to you know go to court to hearing. And I'm probably going to be the last on the list. You know, the cases are going, the more important cases are going to be on the top. So the court, they're not going to see me first. They're going, to, I'm going to be the last on the list. And so what? So every day I have to wait for them to call me in on their time. No, it works on my time, not their time. I'm sorry. Maybe I have issues around authority, but I don't think I do. But maybe I do. Who knows? But yeah. So that's yeah. That's my story. So um. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that and yeah, so again, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, or comment, and 